So I stood there over a period of time and I built relationship with those security guards. Hmm. So oh, one day I was at that gate when the woman that sells food for them came and almost about the guy came. You know how I just said, Fred, just pull some stunts. I offered to pay for food for one of the security guys. Mm -hmm. And the guy looked me, oh, why are they pay now? I said, I just like you. I said, make I pay for you. The guy agreed. So when I finished, he said, ah, oh, more, you just try for me to do. Uh -huh. What do you say you want again? I said, guy, if I work for this place, that one. Mm. So the guy now told me what job I told him. He said, hey, now you for talk things now. Come back the following day, before nine o'clock. That is risk. While I was going back, I have used my transport fare to give somebody food. So as I go back from Ikeja to Egbeda, money no day my hand. I don't enter bus in all. <laughs> so what happened between Ikeja and Egbeda? We'll talk about it another time. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't forgotten that story for in the field. When I got home, I have to look for another transport fare that I will come back to the following day. Mm. So when I got there, the guy said, I should wait here. So one man drove in, Mr. Mr. Albert Akbo. I don't know him. He just said, go and meet him. But don't mention my name. So I walked up to that guy. The guy said, young man, how are you? I said, I'm fine, sir. He said, how can I help you? What's going on? I just told him a captain from aero contractor sent me to him he said who is the captain i mentioned one name that did not exist he said oh but i can't place the name what can i do for you i actually need a job as a cabin crew oh okay you have your resume yes sir you have your picture yes sir i gave it to him two days later the guy called me that i had a job interview he told me what to do and he told me when i finish i should call him I showed up for the interview. I did as exactly as I did. Now, before I went for that interview, that is freeze, my English was shaking. I used to have this Calabar accent when they do point, 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 point. Give us some of that Calabar it, accent. Maybe we, maybe we give up. He don't lose. I don't know how to talk him again. <laughs> I, swear. I know. Oh. So when I did one ad for GTB, they paid me around 90000 then. So I took 60,000. I went to Pefty College. There was one actor, I can't remember his name. The guy, English, solid. So he taught us phonetics. So that was how he taught us that when you are pronoun pro pronouncing something or you're speaking or when you're acting, you have to be very meticulous. That was how I got that act, that point, 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 point out of my mouth. So I didn't even know that I was going to go to. Um, aviation to go and work as a cabin crew now that leads me to saying that one always be prepared mm. make continuous and relentless improvement a habit if you want to scale if you want to succeed keep improving on yourself you have to so when i got to this interview they gave me a book to read the skill where that guy teach me that time kicked in mm. so after that, I called that man who called me. I said, I finished it. Did you do well? I said, yes. Almost three months later, they called me back for the second stage. The second stage was instant. If you pass, they will tell you. It was a group interview. I survived. I think a week or so, they called us back for the third one. Guess who I met on the panel? This man. Ooh. This same guy. Yeah. I didn't spend one minute. That was how I joined Arike. Hmm. So when I joined Arike, Daddy Freeze, I noticed something. Guys, don't look at me like I'm crazy. When you work as a cabin crew, money when go do your hand. The money they dash you on board the aircraft is more than your salary. So hmm. I noticed something that all these politicians, whenever they come on board the aircraft, especially my governor there, the guy would drop bam for the pilot. And then I thought on nine but 50, 100 will come reach me. I will take and go house. I won't be my salary. Meanwhile, the when I take go house was I'm like, okay. 
But if this plane fall off the sky, all of us will die. Me, I won't become pilot. Hmm. How that idea came up. So I spoke to a couple of my friends, started doing my research. I noticed I was going to spend about eight million on a pilot. That is if I go to the US at about forty, fifty thousand dollars. So I started plotting the game. So one of the first things I had to do was listen. I've always been a strategist, <laughs> a business analyst. It was the mm. fact that <laughs> I had to plot how to track Akpabio down. I had to pinpoint three people: Akpabio, the then minister of Niger Delta, who was from my state, and then the senator from my constituency. I used to see them on board the aircraft, so I had to plot on how to track them down. I had to put some machineries to work to track them for me and exactly how it worked the day i met that minister and the day i met Akwabio, i was not supposed to be on the flight at all they called me that they are coming i spent money to track them oh. i'm telling you guys some of you that you make money you think you must eat only you no you use money to find money mm. Just like you come to talk to Danny Fries, you don't want to water ground. He has built the platform. You think you should come and talk to him for free. This is about 1 a.m., maybe 2 a.m. in Nigeria. He should come and talk to you for free. You don't also want to pay him? No, he doesn't right. work like that. Yeah. You have to pay. So I pay to track these people. As long as you're a friend. I said, I did. I had a show. I show up. I wear my uniform. I got on board. That minister, I don't want to call him. He gave me three million. The Molino completes. Hey, hey. So I came back. I told them Molino complete. I settled, I settled the ground. For some reason, that if it wasn't up to two, three weeks, when my governor was coming on that flight again, they called me that. My governor was coming. I rehearsed my lines. Hey, hey. Real friend, Baba. I'm going to rehearse it for you in my dialect. How I rehearse. I said, you know when the plane takes off, so at 10,000 feet, it begins to, you know, and then climb. Mm -hmm. I waited at 40,000 feet. I woke up from the back. I went to the business class. I said, Your Excellency, Mekomo, Amindo, you mean some? And Your Excellency, Mbane can give no for one. Seattle, Ubume, your me, baby, walk in your listening song. So I will yak bad winning, who's gay yak bad in the year. Nine man asked me, so for you need bad in the I mean, a name for who, yes, Your Excellency. So for me, maybe bad in the name for Umbo, Mother's negative for. What do I say? Sweet. <laughs> I said, Your Excellency, I greet you. I'm the son of the soil where that airport is being situated. I'm honored to work here. However, I think about the fact that I'm being paid the 10% of what they pay people that fly this aircraft. And I can also fly it if I'm given the opportunity. Hmm. However, if this plane should fall off the sky any day, some of us would die as rich men and some would die as poor men. So he asked me, so you also want to die as a rich man? I said, absolutely, Your Excellency. So he now asked me, have you gotten the admission? Yes, Your Excellency. The guy minuted on it immediately. Yes, he approved it. He gave it to the secretary. He said he should process it and let me get out of the country. He did not only give me the school fees, he also gave me $20,000 for upkeep. $70,000. So, where you are today yes. is God's will apart God's from that, that made me. Yes. That made me, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And so, you, how many people have you made? How many people have I, you trained? That the face so Even far that are now working and earning money. Plenty in the US alone, I have over 40 mentees that I brought to this country on full scholarship. 
I'm not kidding. My wife is, is my, my wife is here. I said two of them, she will, she will in Yoloa, Joseph, they sent her money last year, almost six hundred dollars to take me shopping. I didn't even know. And they are in Nigeria. One of them is in Nigeria. Yes. Can um, you see can you see what happens yes. when you raise a when yeah. you raise somebody? Yes. You are I raising a crowd. Yes. All, all these people today. That, because that, they he raised that, you, that's why you have free, raised them. That's why I teach free classes. Those are some of the reasons why you see me. For so much that I have learned over the years, I offer to give back by teaching those free classes. There are people that come to my class. They did not understand because I can literally teach all these classes in vernacular, in teaching English. They know those people that come to my class, they know. Some of them took the class, they did not understand. But by virtue of coming to my class, the way I'm going to break it down, they will never forget. Mm. Some of them will come there for re refresher. Some of them, after the class, I will spend another two hours to coach them on how to fix their resume. I will even use their resume in the class optimize their LinkedIn and do that stuff for them for free. But when it comes to these kids that are getting scholarship, I've been doing it for, this is, I've been in the US for 14, 15 years now, well over 12 years, the full America. Mm. You yeah. see, there are many lessons, there are many lessons to learn today, guys. This young man told you his story of how he left the village at 15 and came to do houseboy work in Lagos. Many of those that I was doing houseboy work with are still doing the houseboy work to today. Some of you don't understand that where you are is a stepping stone for where you are going. Don't stand on your stepping stone. Can you repeat that after me? Don't stand on your stepping stone. Because the stepping stone is built not to carry your weight for long. It's built to carry your weight temporarily. Mm -hmm. you, you are stepping to another dimension. The dimension is where you are going. The stone is what will hold you briefly. No buy, they know they buy land for bush parts. You never hear this thing before. You don't ever see bush parts, where a person buy bush parts. Now land you go buy, bush parts, now the road is between two people's land. They know they buy bush parts. So he also used that as an opportunity to better himself he went to school some of you go to school and it ends there the next thing find work give two women belay or give one woman belay six times you don't turn another stepping stone to land he went and tried to get into aviation started from the bottom he was collecting 50k as gifts some of you go don't turn that cabin crew we're supposed to be another stepping stone you don't turn them to your destiny you got it. You know, no say that. I you know they do cabin crew for fifty. You know, no say you have to be handsome. You don't see person where they do cabin crew with big belly. You don't see gray hair person where they do cabin crew. There are girls. The yash go come out like this. A good like this. Go package give you. That you know that the package. Free, that package that, that is order. No. That is free order. So there is somebody here that I just saw my wife that guy, Auntie Banker away. I want to talk about her. Auntie Banker away was my senior in college senior in college so she reached out to me here that she she came into the state her husband was also in school with us they were they were dating at the time auntie banker went that is she was my senior like senior in federal poliado her husband was the founder of the um, non-profit organizational club that i belong to seat of africa so i was surprised when she reached out to me in the US here, she's listening to me. She's here. So she she took a training. She paid a lot of money to take a training to get into this IT space. And she did not get value for that training. I said, I don't worry, Auntie Mia, I'll take care of you. She's working. I said, I took her from, she's here, from scratch till I got there. She got a job. She's here. I just saw somebody tagging her. She can relate to you. I did not take a dime from her. So again, like I like you rightly explained, I'll take you back to what you just said. Most of those opportunities, a lot of people listening to me, they had it too, but they blew it up. Mm. Mm. 
Let so me ask you a question. A lot of people are saying, ah, cabin crew in a career. I'm not saying cabin crew is a bad career. It's a temporary career. If you ask me. How much do they pay cabin crew now in Nigeria? So when we started, my basic was 60,000. After taxes, it would be like 56 or 67. But for every one hour that you spend in the air, for every one hour you spend in the air, they will pay you 1,250 naira. So you are not supposed to fly more than 100 hours in a month. So if you add that to your money, but we used to overpass that anyways. Somebody's asking me, Fred, why did you switch from being a pilot to a certified? Don't worry, we will get there. I'm still going. I want you to finish this. Yeah. So now, so average, at the end of the day, it will come to like how much a month? 250 now, 300,000. So let's say now with the inflation and everything, how much do you think they are earning now? That's what I'm saying. To, like between two two hundred to two eighty thousand today today so if you were doing that same work will you be able to afford to come on my life no i can't let me tell you something about wilfred let me tell you something about wilfred wilfred they pay me one month in advance now me go they look for him i don't i go don't, i give him date i don't forget the date where i give him now me now go come they remind me like one month later say which date are we doing this thing? Is it 24, 25th? I go show you my thoughts today. Ada, there was one day I would I say Ada, I don't enter trouble. Wilfred, I give her a date. I don't remember the date again. <laughs> Baba, if, if money they hungry you, you know, go give them. today, sir. We can't even agree. So come, what's the time we are coming again live? <laughs> Baba, if he was doing cabin crew, the best thing we go do be say you see that he freeze for flight, you'll give me extra food. I appreciate all cabin crew. I love them. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Anytime I fly, they will package small cake, package something from the flight. Come give me say that if it's fly the aeroplane. Uh, big shout out to all the cabin crew at Airpiece, uh, Arik, all of you guys. But you see, we are, are talking about a cabin crew who wanted to be a pilot, a nurse who wanted to be a doctor, a teacher who wanted to be a professor. A bus conductor who wanted to own his own bus. That, that is growth. You see, and until you are able to push yourself into that capsule, you will continue living on handouts. People are where they are today. I can tell you for free, there are people who walked into my life tangentially and changed the course of my destiny. Working with them, getting to become better at something. And this guy here, Wilfred, is here today. He's having a free class on his birthday. You don't have to pay. I I always tell everybody that comes to my life, I always add disclaimers oh, so that nobody come and lock my trouser. Eh, any money you spend when you, when you, uh, that the freeze is not liable for any money you spend. You are not liable for the money I spend. Don't come and lock my shirt for the money you spend. But if you don't spend that money, if he did not spend that money buying food and having to walk home, he will not be where he is today. If he did not spend money arranging himself to be on the flight with the right person, he will not be where he is today. So if you like, sit down at home and not be ready. You see, the, how many times has he spent his money and lost it until he, he finally got what he was looking for? A lot of people want to come and summon daddy, please assure me that I will make money. Am I assured that I will make money? The heart that is beating in your chest, can you assure which day to stop beating? <laughs> daddy, please, you don't know how many times I text that they come, and they come, and they come. I was busy doing my homework. Mm. Yes, because if I, I come to pay you one million, I better know what I am you, doing. You better know what you are doing. You better know what you're, you and there to, is nobody, you don't know, you don't there know is nobody that pays one million on mm -hmm. to come to my life unless you don't know what you are or, selling you and you don't know. get 20 million value back. Yes, I am. Listen, guys, I'm not trying. You didn't pay me to tell you this. Those of you that know me, you know, I don't know how to sugarcoat things when I when I pay pay that they freeze i don't like to call those numbers i sent him the numbers i sent him the numbers 
when I pay that he says that money, I come to his life. The only thing is, I will walk. <laughs> that he says, I will have to walk. I used to teach nine classes. And that, those classes will run. Okay, after I come to your life now, that class will be filled up like 200 people will be in class for free. And the value of what they will get, they will willingly say they want the certification. I will not ask them. Now then go say they want. So imagine you have 200 people in the class and at the end of the class, let me say averagely 500. 30 people will pay $500. How much is that? Hmm, that's $15,000. $15,000. Now, out of that 30 people, or out of that 200, 10 people will still pay me $1,000 for coaching. Each. How much is that? That's a total of 25000 now. Just leave it there. Let the rest talk for itself. And that's for one class. And I would have mm. taught nine classes for that particular month. I can't now because I go to work. So you can't come to Daddy Free's channel. And I've said this before from the business perspective as an analyst. His audience, they have a long attention span. Your audience got a long attention span there are other celebrities that has more followers than you do one his audience organic his audience see 500 people are still listening to me you see people come to his life almost a thousand now talk oh, don't say they play music oh. they get there they listen for long that is what is inside his audience so when you come and you are not able to market or sell what you are carrying, you can't make the money. That's why mm. even those ones that are not even having good product to sell, but they have sweet mouths, they will still make money. <laughs> hey. Yes, so whoever wants to come and use that Freeze channel to market his or her product, you are not losing out. That Freeze channel make me have clients from 57 countries. <laughs> 57 countries he doesn't have no complaint though, from anybody that oh fred did this fred did that he gives but his disclaimer you know, of every single person that i have brought on my life fred has the least complaints fred and zeno now them get the, the least complaints i think one one person each and it was sorted. Yes. I have some people that have brought to my life. Eh? Once I see, once I open email, they mention their name, I could just begin to put hand for it. Say, ah, I don't see down. <laughs> now, because so, that's that why channel, one day, let, like... let me tell you one story. One day, now, what did save me be that too? I just tell person, say, and they always tell people, you spend your money at your own risk. Own risk. That, that the freeze is not liable. For any money you spend. If you decide to buy a product, attend the class, join the crypto uh, investment platform, uh, buy into real estate that you meet on Daddy Free's life, you spend your money at your own risk. Because people are looking, if, if you spend that money and you make the profit, you'll not come and knock my door and say Daddy Free's. I mean, the only person that has ever done that is this Wilfred. Wilfred, now the only person who go pay for my class, for my session, come go hammer. Come send me 50k, say that the freeze. Don't I just want dash with this 50k because my body sweets me. I think one other person too does it. Let me also be honest. One other person too does, but I'll not mention that particular person here. That person too will just wake up one day and just be happy and just send something. And, and that is when Anto say, Anto say one million generates. You don't understand. I suppose come pay homage. In fact, even before then, just appearing on your channel, then not to come and talk about stuff. You will just bring me in, and I talk. After I come out, if I don't make, I will make five thousand dollars. Yes, now I have to come back and pay homage because yes, now the audience. So, 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 at the end of the day, guys, tap into this opportunity. He is. An opportunist in a good way. He got to where he got today by grabbing every available opportunity. I, I, I say this all the time. 
some of you are poor because you cannot pay attention. You cannot afford to pay attention. That's why you are poor. You can afford to buy a car. You can afford to rent or own a house. But because you can't afford to pay attention, you are poor. Sometimes all, all you need to do is listen. Sometimes all you need to do is check out. Like he has said, his website is www.zedworldwide.com. Zed is spelled Z-E-E-D. World, W-O-R-L-D, wide.com. If you're watching on TikTok, on YouTube, on Facebook, go to www.zedworldwide.com. Under events, register. Just do that right now. A lot of people have been listening to us and wondering, okay, this uh, Wilfred Asuko, this village boy that became a pilot, became a cabin crew, from cabin crew became a pilot, from pilot became a coach and mentor. How do I fashion my life? There are some of you in Nigeria today not realizing that you can rise above the fuel price. Yeah. Some of you don't realize that you can rise above the high cost of living but you, you cannot do it by buying land on stepping stones i'm going to preach this as a sermon don't buy land on stepping stones stepping stones um it might be land for somebody else but for you it is a stepping stone it's just it's like you going to secondary school and refusing to leave somebody said, school. someone said at this point Point. you don't need to work for anybody just work for yourself well i'll tell you guys after i came to that retreat the first time to have this session i did not work for anybody <laughs> i did not every two months i'll come to that retreat. every two months i'll come to that retreat for well over one year i did that if knows now i don't i did not you see you see his channel. I can preach it one million times. I have never seen him before. I have not seen him personally before. But this is channel with your one million. If you know what you are doing, I don't mean selling products that hurt people. Know. Selling real good products and services. You will not want to work for somebody because the client will break your phone. I am not kidding you guys. I couldn't work for anybody. As I'm coming to this life today, ask that issue that I was contemplating. How am I going to manage? I'm going to work tomorrow morning. I have a class. When I finish this life, I have a class to teach. Yes. It was this last session I did in January. I am still chopping the ripple of that class, I mean, appearance and did in January. Yes. And as I said, no, sorry, Wilfred, let me tell you something. I'm cutting you now because this is very important. You cannot come to my life unprepared. Yeah. Wilfred comes prepared. Yeah. Prepared. You come to lecture. Yes, you need people are going to listen to you. You cannot just come and not be able to gather yourself together. You have to be able to gather yourself together. Sometimes people are going to bash you, sometimes people are going to come and call me. We we'll get the channel, they know they cost me. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you something a lot of people ask, Why do I block so many people? I block people because there are some people who have no business here. I want a community of people who can think people who are polite people who can buy and sell do you know how many people just by being in my comment section have met future husbands have met future toasters have met future business partners have met future wives they don't even come live they just inside the comment section sometimes the comment section is a is a live session on its own now me they lock them sometimes because they, they distract them so when you come to my life that if he's not a magician every single person that has come again has gained value forget the phone they will come and tell you that they spend their money on that if 
whatever they spend, multiply by 20. Is what they don't, 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 don't worry about those ones. Someone said, if you are making all this money on your own, why did you go back to working for somebody? Sweetheart, I had to go back there. I had to. In fact, I had to explain it to Daddy Freeze. Daddy Freeze had to feel for me. It's not something I can open my mouth and say it. You think I bleed? I lose money. You see this? Now I'm coming to this life. Ideally, I was supposed to have nine classes from now till the next 30 days. I have only put up four classes, Daddy Freeze. I can't put nine because I'm going to work. You know how much I'm losing? Hmm. Yes. It, no, that if it's, you know I explained this to you. Yes. So it's not something yeah, I, down I, and you explained it to me. Yes, it's not something I can... You think I don't love money? Jesus. You think I don't love money? Not after I have discovered that when I come to Daddy Free's channel, I will be born. <laughs> oh, you guys don't understand. <laughs> you see, the classes I teach is internationally used. Those certification classes is internationally acceptable. And I will give it to you on the giveaway price of $500, for example. $500. If you go on the internet and search, you will see it. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if two other people come to my class and they pay $500 for it, now me see gain. Yes. And then you will enjoy the class very well because it's a coaching class at the same time. So at the end of the day, it paid me off to rather come to Daddy Freeze and sit down and teach, coach, and mentor. But now something make the fish burn. We have to push back the gain and adjust. I said, okay, let's go back and pick up. And another thing I want to say to you guys is, as I've gone back to work now, there are different tools that I've gone to learn. Mm -hmm. Yes, those tools, there was no way I was going to learn them sitting at home. They add to my well of knowledge and well of experiences. So it also enhances my ability to communicate in real time to my audience while I'm teaching these certification classes. Yes. Guys, again, I am really, really grateful to this man sitting in front of me. Whoever gave him this concept to build this brand, there are not so many um, celebrity platforms like this in Nigeria where they can sit down and hold this deep conversation. It's not easy to sit down with me to talk oh, in this space. It's not easy. You better know what you're talking about. But you, will sit, you can see him engaging me very well. It takes a lot. So when he decided to use his platform as an intellectual environment to educate and enlighten people, bring people to come and share thoughts on different subjects, I don't know where he got that creativity from. That was awesome. So when they brought this life, coming in on social media and he tapped into it that is what we are telling you to do build your iq increase your capacity up here and the things you need to do not far-fetched brainstorming analytical thinking critical thinking conceptual thinking system thinking contextual thinking problem solving skills um problem um solution working skills um problem solving skills very mm. important when you have small thing like this it sinks you that is why a lot of us are still where we are today so again mm. if you ever see him come live and you have a chance to listen to him he might not be right all the time you may not agree with him all the time but trust me he is a voice to listen to you may not like him you may not have to admire what he does, or you may not like. You guys know I don't. I don't know how to praise people or tell you what you are not or what you don't have. Mm. If I have to tell you the truth, I will tell you the truth, and it doesn't change anything. So he has created this platform to enable us to be able to impact others positively. That is, it's nothing hates me when people call me motivational speaker. Mm. Mm. I'm, I walk. I walk. I know motivational speaking is an industry, but I work, I go to work. If I'm not, I'm teaching, I'm teaching a class. You know what it means? And I, that is, I'll tell you, sometimes when I'm teaching a class, because of this thing, my professor that lectured me in Federal Poly Ado came to my, my class. That was the highlight of my hustle last year. And he paid me to coach him. He lives in Texas. I just told you that my senior colleague, Auntie Bankawe, he, her husband 
was a mom for what I was doing in school. She, I had to coach. Imagine people subduing themselves. I have VPs, executive suits, suits as in top executives in Nigeria. A couple of them, they paid me like 3.5, 3.6. They took these classes and they transitioned from Nigeria to UK or to Canada. Yes. I'm not kidding. This thing I'm doing, executive, top executive, who understands the value of those certifications that I teach. So it's not just people here, Nigerians, um, Saudi Arabia, a lot of people around the world, they will reach out for it. If you go to Scale Agile Framework website, go and see how many countries are there. Mm. Are there. I was about registering my company in that website before that thing came up. I have to go and pick up this job, but that's fine. Mm. Again, now guys, Sorio, his mm -hmm. number because you are hearing all these things, and we now get stuck because people can't reach him. Plus one eight six zero six three four eight three three six. Take this number down. Are you on WhatsApp, Wilfred, or you prefer phone yeah, calls? I'm not on WhatsApp. WhatsApp, guys, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. I'm going to give you the number again. Plus one, eight, six, oh, six, three, four, eight, three, three, six. Get a pen and a paper or the notepad on your phone. I'm going to mention it one more time, but I'm going to do that in one minute. So, if you're driving, you can pull over the side of the road. If you're in the bathroom, you can rush out of the bathroom with soap and water all over your body. Just go and grab a paper and a pen. Uh, go and grab your phone so I can give you the number. While I'm telling you the number, you can also take down the website. It's www.zedworldwide.com. Zedworldwide.com. Zed is spelled Z-E-E-D worldwide w o r l d w i d e dot com zed worldwide dot com check under events to register when you get to the we website that is www dot zed worldwide dot com zed is spelled z e e d or z e e d worldwide dot com under events you will see how to register. I did say I was going to give the phone number again. The number is plus one eight six zero six three four eight three three six. I'll take that number again. Plus one eight six zero six three four eight three three six uh muslim g says go and sleep you see your destiny is in coma right now your death you are seeing people talking on how to better themselves and you have decided to come here and talk like the riffraff that you are born through way they say don't throw the baby Baby out with the bath water. If it were your case, throw the baby away. Keep the bath water. The bath water where they take bath you, what pass you? Don't ever let me see you on this platform again. This is not where we gather as non-entities to catch crews. I've warned you. Next time, Stone go meet your family members for house, telling us to go and sleep. You are there. Pop. Tomorrow you will come to the life. The, the, the government is the government. Do you know there are some people that are immune to the effects of the government? Of course, there are a lot of them. Do you realize that? Don't you want to be part of those people? Even if we are not there yet, let us aspire to be immune. Mm -hmm. But instead, you decide to come here and use your crayfish brain, your blatodian brain, to come and be jumping up and now opening your mouth anyhow, thinking your mates are here. If it's not security work that you are doing, why are you awake? <laughs> okay, that is <laughs> All right, so um, just before you 
you you decide to reach out to me let me say this please mm. i like to relate with people who know who knows what they want you need to know what you want for example if you come to me mm. and tell me i want to do it coach me it's going to be difficult for me to coach you because you don't know what you want and i do not like to market what i do to a person who do not know what they want because it will look like i'm coercing you into what i am doing no i can't take advantage of your vulnerability i want you to know what you want before you come to me mm. establish what you want and the way you do it is this go to google it's on your phone type there um what are the different it fields so when you make make a choice you can go on youtube and watch two three minutes video and connect if it does make sense to you some of these things you may not even need to come to me you have udemy you have youtube you have coursera you have linkedin learnings there are so many platforms that can help you to start mm. very helpful now to add to this aside growing your career if you don't grow your soft skills which is what i have told you guys about um business analysis if you don't grow your soft skills it's difficult for you to strive if you lack social intelligence you won't be able to connect with people oh. when you see a public place like this instead of you to connect with the opportunities that you are seeing you are doing what you are catching crews now you use social intelligence to connect with people you use emotional intelligence to keep them i've connected with daddy freeze now since 2011 and i use emotional intelligence to do what to keep him till date he has increased his price from 1 million to 1.5 but he still takes 1 million from me now i have a month so yes it's because i have decided to build little little it will say ah, fred i used to there was this blind guy that the freeze went to help so that if he's requested for a braille i didn't know that that thing is called braille the machine that the blind people use that was way back in 2012 or 2013 so myself and my wife bought that machine sent it to daddy freeze daddy freeze took it to that guy i've not forgotten and then i took over paying school fees for the son of that blind man in nigeria it was on daddy's free speech i saw it i don't think i've ever mentioned it publicly before i'm just, just i'm as in i'm just hearing this for the first time now reconnecting yeah. it oh my goodness yes the man his wife is from ghana mm. the wife yes the wife souls i think he was attacked by arm robber and they spilled something in his eyes he went to his church his church could not help mm. him so you went with your team to see him where he lives in lagos yeah and you yes. like about it and i offered myself and my wife we we mm. we, we bought that braille i think it was 400 or 500 dollars and we shipped it to daddy freeze daddy freeze took it to them so you can see how long I have followed Daddy Freeze and supporting mm -hmm. the work he's been doing. So if you don't have these soft skills, for example, communication, some of us cannot communicate, but you want to work in the corporate space. Your English is still is worse than my own. You need to go and improve upon it. Some mm -hmm. of us, we lack brainstorming skills. Where you are supposed to brainstorm about the problem, what are you doing you are going to pray no there is a place for prayer there is a place for thinking where you use your brain to think so you need these soft skills and that's why i set up a virtual coaching platform there is a monthly subscription because i have leadership coach career coach um i teach soft skills i'm king of soft skills that's mm -hmm. what i teach and then you have healthcare coach she's a medical doctor she comes there about five coaches are coming there and we pay them we pay oh. them 
So, again, if you keep chasing career at the expense of these soft skills that should help you solidify, you have one small problem like this because you don't lack, you lack problem solving skills. You say it's village people. It's not village people. It's just that you don't have problem solving skills. Mm. You need to develop it. You need to develop them. So if you come to a place like this, instead of you to listen, reason how people are analyzing things, listen to the opportunities that you can connect with. It might not be the best, but no, you are catching crews. Hmm. I don't know if you saw one skit, one young boy did. He, he hmm. says, I mean, water. He's inside water. Very, very swampy. My heart was broken because it's quite dehumanizing, like dehumanizing mm. to see a young man inside such condition in the name of what? Creating content. content. And King Tunde had not he posted this. We just use it to laugh, but that's not where he should be. Mm. I actually offered him. I said, if he is ready to learn IT, I will personally want to transition him. They call him Little Mamet. I couldn't be hold that. I called him yesterday. I chatted him up. He reached out. We spoke. I established one or two stuff with him, but I can't tell him to stop. At least that if it's, that one is still better than the one that somebody will go and be saying stuff about celebrity. And now they are arresting her. She's going to court. She probably will go to jail. Trinity went to run his mouth where he was not supposed to run. He's in prison. But this one, at least, he's going to swim inside dirty water in the name of Skid, and they are not arresting him. He's still better. Mm. So, there are a lot of opportunities out there. We don't want to get stuck with this same old, same old narrative. But other than that, Daddy Freeze, as ever, it was a great session with you. My lovely, lovely hanging out with you. Um, I did say I was going to give out the number again. And um, if you're just joining now, please take down the number. It is very, very important. Uh, you don't have to call, but sometimes until you try something, you never know what's good. Once again, plus one, eight, six, zero, six, three, four, eight three three six i'm gonna give the number out again but for the final time so make sure you have your phone or your piece of paper and pen ready remember uh the website is www.zedworldwide.com check under events to register www.zed z is spelled with z z e e d worldwide.com www.zedworldwide.com under events register the number once again and here it is for the final time plus one eight six zero six three four eight three three six what are your parting words wilfred my parting words today is know what you want all times um the world will not stay stagnant and wait for you while you keep complaining i keep whining mm -mm, they will not you have all it takes in your hands to scale regardless wherever you are in the world mm. i have young people in nigeria they are making money in dollars what i mean in dollars mm. in dollars don't be left out and if you've been blessed to Jaffa and you are still in one place doing minimum job, minimum wage, village people, please increase your overtime on your head. <laughs> you just give them opportunity to work overtime on your head. And definitely it's not the village people they are having fun. Please change your narrative. Use what you have up here. If I say now, you guys will say uh, this that they face people. When you go to talk too much, it takes your senses away. Increase your capacity by reading. <laughs> <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, village boy who became a cabin crew pilot and then agile coach to someone who can share his experiences and wisdom with you. His name is Wilfred Asukwa. I did say I was going to give the number out the final time, and here it is. Plus one, eight six zero six three four eight three three six. Call now. Goodbye. Wilfred. Thank you. Sir. God bless you, bro.